and every day having to load 70 to 100 kids on two two buses, if they have two buses. Our bus have to make multiple trips to go over to get the practice and then get practice going and then have our time cut So it's no home field or home practice field right now? No, no, that's, that's not what we have. We, gotta, we have to bus over to LMEC, which is like a 15 minute bus ride. And try to get the kids there and warmed up and ready to go. And then they want us to be off the field before the rental start, which cut us down to like an hour and a half practice time without any um, field goals or lines on the field. So the kids are, if it's a 15, 18 yard route, they're having to guesstimate instead of having um, field markers to know exactly where they're going. So it's a huge challenge and no hash marks, no nothing. It's like just practicing at the park. Mm-hmm. And so it's a. Um, when you're having to play three of the top teams in the state of California, we need as much consistency and practice time as we possibly can, and it needs to be in conditions that are suitable to everybody else, you know, and, and we don't have that. And so without us having a utility field to even work with or something to, to say, hey, we can't make it over there, we can use our field, there's no way we can use this field more than three days in a row without it being completely tore up. You're producing more uh, D1 athletes than any school in the county, man. I don't, man, I don't care what your friends tell you or what your mama. There she go right hey. there. There she go. Who is this? Hi. There she go. Hey. To the people. Out here. We out here. Oh, look. Okay. So did you know that I found out about this story at the end of last school year? Is that right? Yes. I have been waiting on Coach Dunn to do this interview because I've been waiting to ask this question. What are we going to do to make sure these kids can not only play safely, but continue to kick butt like they've been doing for the last, I don't know, how many years? Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's that's historical. five, five years? Yes. What, what are we doing out here? Well, What's listen, the plan? Listen, we, we, we calling and we're reaching out to our sisters right here to bring attention to the situation. Yes. You feel me? And um, it's all homie love up here. We got all support. It's even big homies in the cut right here. But this right here is for the community. I just want to give a big thanks to my homegirl, Kirsten. Thank you. For uh, shining some light on the situation. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, like they say, it takes, a, it takes a village, right? It takes a village. We can't let all his money do it. We need some of your money, too. Hello, world. Kings, queens, and zooligans. It's another one like the other one. And as y'all can see, I'm at my second favorite place in the whole wide world doing what I love to do, chasing success. Uh, before I get started, as always, I got to bring God into the building uh, in hopes that he might articulate my wordplay so that it might be effective and uh, get to the ones I needed to hit hard, like a ton of bricks. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to wake up above ground with everything intact. Uh, Please help and assist us, Lord Father, to find common ground and get back to some love and uh, some forgiveness. Bless my friends, family, foes, and all my enemies, Lord Father. And forgive us for all our sins. Through you, all things is possible. Amen. Now, Mitchie Slick. Y'all just seen him a couple of videos, man. This is why I respect this king uh, the way that I do. Because anybody that stayed down for the crown, man, and helps and assists his community and attempts to be better is my kind of human being, man. You know, I'm just a humanitarian, man, and I love what I love, and I love Southeast San Diego to the fullest and utmost, no matter what community we talk about, from Market to uh, 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 Skyline, Emerald Hills, to the Brams, to Lincoln. Now, uh, as y'all see in the video clips that I just played for y'all, man, he's making an attempt to uh, through him and David Dunn, Coach David Dunn, shout out to him, um, are trying to make ways in, in attempts to uh, create an atmosphere for uh, the youngsters out there playing ball that's trying to find their way into the pot, you know, uh, of winning. You know what I'm saying? Now, they are winning. We all know that. Lincoln Park, Lincoln High School has uh, been a winning high school for many years they put out a lot of alumni from marcus allen uh terrell davis um to uh, david dunn you know what i'm saying uh david dunn might have went to morris anyway um we got to do something about that 
man. That got to change. There's no way that that high school should be at that level of play at this time. It's 2024. Hell, they read they 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 uh, rejuvenated the entire school. I don't understand why they let out uh, left out the football yard. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, shout out to Mitchy Slick, man. And uh, shout out to David Dunn, like I said. But now what I really want to get on is like, we need Nick Cannon to pull up, bro. You know what I'm saying? You utilize Mitchie Slick to get you some street cred out there in the universe. But give on back to that community, man. Give on back, man. It's a write-off for you, man. And you got you you got enough paper where you can find a way to make it a write-off. And uh, Terrell Davis, man, come on back and come on back to your alumni and show some love to Lincoln High, Marcus Allen. You know, we need y'all. This is when we need y'all to step up and give back to the community that helped to raise and, and mold you into the beast that you guys became. Now, I do know that a lot of that is in you, but still, yeah, bro, where's the love, homie? We need that love. They need that love. You know what I'm saying? And, um, because we need to continue to keep that uh, D1 type of program. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, each one teach one, man. You know what I'm saying? And so if we're not going to do that, then what are we doing? We failing. You know what I'm saying? And we can't fail, man. You know what I'm saying? We need to bring up five, six people so that them five, six and bring up 10, 11. You know what I'm saying? So we can continue to, get, to keep that going so it get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? So I'm just sending a shout out to the universe in hopes that all the celebs, and that's even uh, uh, Alex Smith. You know what I'm saying? Reggie Bush, I know y'all didn't go to Lincoln still yet. It's a part of our community. That community needs a little help. Uh, y'all got the money, help and assist so that y'all can find a way to make it a write-off and get the money back. Y'all know how y'all do it, man. That's how the rich stay rich, so go ahead and do what you do, man. You know what I'm saying? But again, shout out to Mitchie Slick, man. That's what real G's do. You know what I'm saying? They take care of their own, man. And that's the love I'm speaking of. With that being said, peace.